country and her patriotism, it exudes off of her. And I'm just yeah. so excited to see that that's who the people of Arizona latched on to. Um, and then just what a great and empowering individual she's been as a candidate, going around, helping others that might be behind a little bit. Um, yep. Her leadership is really shown through, and I love that about her. She's, she's done fantastic, and I think she's playing it just right. She is working very well with President Trump Absolutely. and his team. And I think she's peaking at the right moment. You know, we're seeing, I, I can't help but compare her to Ron DeSantis because yeah. he's another very MAGA patriot governor who, you know, so many Americans love for the policies that he's put in place. But they're playing their cards very differently. Yes, they Carrie are. Lake has embraced President Trump as the leader of the party. She has uh, followed his lead and she plans to uh, press into the America First agenda. Whereas Ron DeSantis, although his policies are really good, he's not recognizing Donald Trump as the leader of this movement. And I think that could pose some problems for him if he actually tries to go toe to toe with President Trump. Uh, I strongly recommend he not do that. I think it would be a career suicide probably for at least the next several years. Well, and we know, I mean, remember, Donald Trump is the one that helped him take office. He went to Donald Trump saying, I'm yes. losing, I'm down in the polls, can yes. you endorse me? Yes. President Trump endorsed him. And now he's under the delusion, it appears, that he can take on President Trump. Yeah. And I, and I don't care, I just voted for Ron DeSantis. I'm yeah. a Florida voter and I voted for him. I want him to be my governor, I like his policies. But I just think he needs to be very careful to not try to take on Donald Trump.